Dekupan jantung anak selama perlahan Amin mengalami penyakit konjadu komplit hablong Kami mencadangkan supaya dia dipasang alat perintah jantung Atau lebih dikenali sebagai pacemaker Pacemaker yang apa sebenarnya doktor? Pacemaker merupakan alat yang mengawal dekupan jantung manusia The heart is made up of four chambers Two atriums and two ventricles On each side, the atrium is connected to the ventricle by a one-way valve. The atrium empties blood into the ventricle and the ventricle pumps the blood out of the heart. This rhythmic pumping of the heart occurs sequentially. Signal from the atrial sinus node causes the atrium to contract, while the atrial ventricular node causes ventricular contraction. Problems with the coordination between the two nodes and the slowing of this rate causes complete heart block and fainting spells. Alat pacemaker berfungsi untuk kembalikan koordinasi dan kadar degupan jantung ke tahap yang normal. Alat pacemaker ini telah dicipta semenjak lewat tahun 50-an. Ia merupakan sebuah alat kecil yang diletakkan di bawah kulit berdekatan kawasan tulang selangka bagi pesakit dewasa atau di kawasan perut bagi pesakit kanak-kanak. Semuanya tergantung kepada saiz pesakit tersebut. A pacemaker about the size of a pocket watch contains a battery and computer circuitry to correct slow heart rhythms. Thin insulated wires called leads about the diameter of a pencil lead connects the pacemaker to your heart. The pacemaker will only send out electrical signals to your heart when it determines your heartbeat is too slow. When it senses a correct natural heartbeat, it will not send electrical signals to your heart. The pacemaker works in a very simple fashion. You can think of it as a monitor that is continuing monitoring the heartbeat or the pulse and also actively interacting so that if the heartbeat slows down, the pacemaker kicks in to maintain the heart rate to acceptable levels. So you see, it's a continuous loop of monitoring and intervention and these electrical signals are minute signals that are not sensed by a patient but the signals are strong enough to make the heart beat and the heart contracts. and electrical impulse are delivered as needed or regularly according to the rate necessary for that particular patient. Data-data ini adalah penting bagi doktor yang merawat pesakit untuk memprogramkan pacemaker ini supaya bersesuaian dengan keadaan pesakit.
Alat pacemaker telah ada sejak 60 tahun. Ianya sentiasa diperbaharui dari semasa ke semasa. Pesakit tidak perlu risau mengenai prosedur pemasangan alat ini. Ia adalah keperluan bagi mereka yang mengalami penyakit denupan jantung rendah. Pemasangan alat pacemaker ini boleh menyelamatkan nyawa anda.